My dear friends, what's up? I'm very happy to share my analysis and predictions about the plugin market uh, until the 2030. So we can attack right now uh, directly into the numbers. I've made a little chart for you guys and this is what it says. If we look at 2020, we will see that the volumes have been the following. So for Tesla, you have had uh, half million. For Volkswagen is the second uh, largest uh, EV maker, 420K. Saic, GM and Wulink, it's a partnership between the three, is 272K. Then we have BMW, BYD and our favorite Golden 3, which is both new uh, Xpeng and Li, which made 100,000 cars in the year of 2020. Right now, uh, we uh, I checked some information on the internet and I found out that sales for 2021 first half were a total of 2.6 million. So we have this huge growth, as you can see on this chart uh, graph. Uh, that uh, you know basically we have a like a a hundred percent month on month uh, uh, growth which which is amazing and you can see that basically it's three markets or maybe two markets which is Europe and China which are making a huge huge progress plus 157 percent for Europe plus 200 percent for China plus 166% for US, but starting from a small base, but still is really, really good numbers. Uh, so for global plug-in vehicle sales, meaning the hybrids and electric, so EVs, we are estimated, estimated to uh, hit 6.4 million cars in 2021 which is a 100% increase from 2020, so from 3 million point two vehicles. This is just amazing. So some of the top 10 uh, models, uh, which uh, of course would include Model 3, Model Y, and B, BYD HAN, uh, Volkswagen with its ID4 and ID3 is also making a, 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 a good result. But uh, I mean, Renault Zoe as well and Wulin on the second place, which we cannot really count because it's a small car. It costs about $5,000, so it's not very representative, but still, you know, very good, I mean, uh, results uh, for Wulin, uh, no doubt about that. And then we come to this global EV sales ranking where we, uh, for uh, first half of 2021, where we, uh, we'll see the following uh, guys, uh, the, the producers who are making uh, approximately 80% or we will see what their uh, production rate is, uh, growth rate is uh, in the chart. So basically what I did is I made a chart and I put all this information into the chart. Okay, this is how it looks like. So 2020 numbers we just talked about, it's 3.2 million for uh, all uh, vehicles produced in 2020. And we have the vehicle adoption of 4.2% with total plug-in and gas cars amounting to 78 million, which was slightly down from 2019 from 92 million. Uh, then, uh, we, I would like to make an estimate for 2021 and this is how I did it. Uh, basically, you will see here the first half, first half of 2021, let's take an example of Tesla, 386 cars were produced uh, with a 14.6% uh, market share. And in 2021, basically what I do is I multiply uh, 386 first by two because we have first, second quarter, we have to multiply it by two to get third and fourth quarter. And I multiply it by 1.2 coefficient, which is approximate, uh, which is 20% and which should give us that increase for the third and fourth quarter, which usually is much higher than uh, first and second quarter. And we get a number, an estimated number for 9 
um, uh, almost 1 million uh, basically uh, 926,000 which looks correct for Volkswagen we have 800 for Saic GM we have 800 as well and if we look at the Golden 3 we would find that estimate an estimate for 2021 for Li after Neo and Xpeng would be uh, approximately 250 cars with 100,000 cars coming from Neo uh, 73 cars coming from Xpeng and uh, 72 cars coming from Li after basically we input this estimate 2021 in here and then we would like to estimate uh, the, the car production until 2030 and to get the taste of who will be the leader and how today's leaders will um, uh, increase and which potential they will have uh, until 2030 okay so basically basically let's start for from volkswagen uh if you look at this number uh, an estimate of 2022 you will see that it has been multiplied by 1.4 coefficient which is 40 percent 40 percent basically they're producing 700 uh eight uh eight hundred thousand cars which is in this bracket and I put that in this bracket, the uh, increase of the market should be expansion of the growth uh, growth of the market should be 40%. From 1.5, it's going to be 30% because the base is larger and the market becomes more mature. From uh, 5 uh, to 10 million, the market becomes even bigger. So the base is even bigger, the maturity even stronger. And that's why the percentage would drop, I would say, to 20%. And from 10 to 20 per, uh, million uh, production the growth would be probably about 10% so using these parameters we have these numbers so this increase for Volkswagen and in 2030 they should have 6.5 million cars produced if we do the same analysis for Golden 3 so we would have 6 0.2 million cars produced basically like Volkswagen new Xpeng and Li in my uh, estimate should produce as much uh, as much uh, cars as uh, the whole Volkswagen group which is huge don't forget they have Audi they have uh, uh, Porsche you know they have a lot of a lot of cars Seat you know uh, the mass market, the, um, the Škoda, I mean, it's, it's, it's really like huge cars, uh, none, uh, of course, Volkswagen as well. So then, then we can separate this Golden 3. So basically, Neo would make 2.5 million cars, Xpeng would make 2 million cars, and Li would make 1.8 million cars. Uh, in 2030, we would have a plug-in market or a plug-in adoption of 80% with a 77 million uh, vehicles on the road, which would be plug-in. So either EVs or either uh, hybrid. And the total plug-in gas market would be approximately 96 and the total gas would be uh, an approximate 18, uh, 20 percent, uh, 19 million. OK, and the top 11 market share would have 63 million cars, which would amount to 82 percent. So, you know. The, as, as a conclusion, we can see that global uh, uh, plug-in market should hit 80% uh, penetration rate, just what we said now, and the top 11 should represent 82% of all the plug-ins. Uh, I think that smart EVs should survive uh, uh, only on, I mean, more, more, um, the smarter the EV, the more chances it has to survive because all the margins are there. So basically, if Renault Zoe, for example, or BYD will make vehicles will, which are not as smart, which will not do robot taxi after, yes, uh, I don't think that they will even be in this leader table until 2030. Um, not alone uh, to, to 20, uh, 2035 or 2040. Okay, so after, after 
uh, we can basically uh, for Tesla if we look for the numbers for Tesla we have 14 million uh, vehicles which sounds about correct because if you look at the Tesla impact report they said that by 2030 they're aiming to sell 20 million electric vehicles per year compared to 0 0.5 million in 2020 I think it's a little bit optimist you know which is good but uh, 14 let's stay a little bit less optimist and I think that uh, this this number uh, should be correct okay then guys I would like to make a uh, at the growth potential of today's EV leaders and let's uh, check check this uh, table out which I have made especially for you here we have the following so for Tesla the average price I put in my parameter would be 60,000 of course it would be a little less I mean like 30,000 or 35 40,000 but with the you know all the energy and all the electric stations and and the chip manufacturing and all these things if you take all the sales because they contribute to the sales if you take all the sales you uh, of course would have uh, sales which are bigger you divide this by a number of vehicles and of course the average price would uh, tend to go up so basically if you if you take 60,000 average price and you multiply it by 14 uh, 14 million vehicles you would have a sales of 850 billion with a profit margin of 15 percent your profit would be 126 billion with a PE of 30 that would amount to a 4 trillion market cap for Tesla if they achieve these figures and guys this does not include the, the FSD so basically the robot taxi and the Tesla bot which will be completely completely uh, changing the world but I'm not even taking that into account so you can imagine the potential that Tesla has okay so without FSD and Tesla bot they would have a potential of 5.1 X if they achieve this numbers which is totally totally achievable with an FSD and Tesla bot I think they can go up to 10 trillion uh, dollars I think it it will be the most expensive company in the world that's just my opinion but that's really what I think that's why Tesla for me is I hold it from 2017 is a lifetime hold you should hold it a lifetime in my opinion that's what I do that's that's I'm just I'm just saying okay then you have other vehicles so let's just jump into golden 3 for Neo you would have approximately uh, uh, average price of 60,000 sales would be 145 as you can see because we multiply by 2.4 million with a 10% profit uh, margin they would have a profit of 14.4 with a PE of 20 they would have a market cap of 290 billion right now it's at 60 billion so it's a 4.6 X same thing for Xpeng they would have a 5.6 X and Li 6.1 X Li Auto I like a little bit less because they don't make pure EV vehicles they make a hub hybrid vehicles for the time being even though the design is really truly exceptional of Li One, it looks really, really good. As uh, for Volkswagen or from EEMs, I would say that the greatest potential would go to Volkswagen Group. They have a 3.2x, uh, and I would say BMW from my calculations, they have a 3.9x. Uh, so basically, that is it. Uh, as you can see, the market is pretty, pretty. I mean, we're just in the beginning. Can we say that there's hype? Of course, there's hype. Of course, there's news from the Chinese that yes, um, uh, companies have to consolidate. There's so many companies. Everyone is going in into this industry. But I really think that uh, Neo Expand uh, for sure should 
should prevail i mean they should be successful tesla of course too and probably from ems volkswagen and bayv id look very very good as well so they basically that's uh, that's uh, that's my conclusion so smart ev is the smarter the ev the more the margin and the more the uh, the the um, the PE the more the market cap basically so that's it my friends hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one see you back freeze a party come move around like fresh fresh when school is out